This is a safety trailer check video brought to you by Certified Horsemanship Association. My name is Donovan Dobbs. We have here today uh, a two horse slant trailer. Uh, we're going to talk about some things you need to check before you put your horse in the trailer to make sure that the trailer is safe uh, for your horse when you travel. So make sure you're not going to break down on the road and be stranded with your horse on the side of a road. So first of all, we're going to start here at the trailer hitch and they have a bunch of different models of hitches. One thing I want to make sure you check to make sure of, make sure you have the right ball for the trailer you have. Some balls are two inches, some are, are two and five eighths. Make sure that before you hook the trailer to your truck that you have the right size ball. Also, this trailer here uh, has the mechanism for a lighting. This trailer also has a brake system. So you make sure that you know, those are properly connected to your truck. Uh, this trailer also has safety chains attached. Uh, make sure your trailer does have safety chains. Uh, I would advise it never driving a trailer that does not have safety chains on it. I know there's a lot of old trailers on the market and they're cheap, but cheap sometimes means you or your horse are gonna get hurt and we don't want that. Also, I wanna make sure that uh, how the hitch is hooked to your truck is properly done because you wanna make sure that this is attached to the frame and not to the bumper of the trailer, your, your truck because if it's attached just to the bumper of your truck, it's going to be far weaker than if it's attached to the frame of your truck. Also, kind of while we're here by the truck, make sure that your vehicle that is towing the trailer is properly rated for the weight of your trailer. Uh, this is a half ton vehicle, which is more than adequate to pull this size trailer. But if we put a gooseneck trailer uh, on this half ton vehicle, it would probably not be safe because it would not it would exceed the gross weight of uh, the truck. Any manufacturer of your truck or vehicle will tell you what it is the gross weight it can carry. Also, this has a uh, clamp that comes over the uh, spring mechanism for the trailer. Make sure it's properly latched. This trailer also has a little safety chain that will prevent that uh, clip from falling back, which again, to keep the hitch attached to your trailer. Moving on to the back of the trailer, the next thing we want to always make sure to check is the tires. Uh, the first thing you obviously want to make sure that the uh, tires have sufficiently tread uh, on them. We don't want bald tires that can come apart. Make sure also that the tires that you have put on here are trailer tires and not car tires. Uh, they're built differently. Uh, what they can carry is differently. So make sure that when you have your tires put on that they are for a trailer and not for a vehicle. One of the also thing you want to make sure you always check your make sure your lug nuts are properly secured on your trailer. Uh, something that I is neglected a lot of greased at least once a year. Uh, that helps keep when you're running and moving that your axles don't overheat. If your axles overheat they will freeze which means your vehicle will stop and you'll be stranded on the side of the road uh, with a horse which is obviously a very unsafe situation. Besides uh, making sure that your tires on your trailer are in good condition. You also want to make sure that your spare tire is in good condition as well. You need to check it on a regular basis, basis to make sure it is properly inflated, uh, that the tread wear is good on it, and that you can easily uh, remove it from your trailer. Next, we're going to come back to the back of the trailer to make sure uh, that it is safe and everything's properly working. Uh, this, you'll probably need an assistant. You need to make sure that your trailer lights and your trailer brakes are properly working. Obviously, you need to have someone in the vehicle turning right, left, hit the brake to make sure they are working. Also, make sure that at night, your running lights, which are up here and on the side of your trailer are also properly working. The next thing we also wanna make sure that this is easy to move, that it's not rusted up. One of the very most important thing is the floor of your trailer. This trailer here has a good non-slip mat in it uh, to keep your horse from moving around. If you do have mats that you lift up the mats and check the floor of your trailer. This trailer has wood. Uh, wood can obviously, even though this is treated lumber on here, can decay because of the feces and the moisture from driving, uh, road grime. Uh, these will, over time, uh, become uh, damaged and will need to be replaced. And even with this mat on there, horses can push foot there through there and then you'll severely damage your horse if they go through the bottom of your floor when your vehicle's traveling. This particular trailer is a 
two horse slant load trailer, which has a divider dividing the horses. You want them up and it works, that it moves, that there's no rust or anything on this. I like to go to the front of the trailer, make sure there's nothing on, on your interior wall, on your divider that can slip or cut your horse when you're loading them in there. Make sure that your ties that you can tie your horse to are secured to your trailer. Now this is a different trailer than the one that we were previously looking at. This is a gooseneck trailer. Uh, a goodness, gooseneck trailer uh, is attached uh, to uh, the frame of the vehicle uh, at the axles. It's designed to be able to carry a greater weight uh, than a bumper hitch, which is that one. But we have some of the same concerns. We want to make sure that the ball that's in the back of the trailer uh, is properly connected to the trailer uh, by a reputable uh, person, that uh, there are safety chains and that the safety chains are connected properly, that your electrical hookup is properly uh, working, and that the cord from the trailer uh, to the truck is properly uh, working. And again, the same thing, we wanna make sure that this vehicle uh, is of sufficient uh, strength uh, to be able to carry a trailer of the size that you're pulling. Uh, just because you have a gooseneck doesn't mean you can pull any gooseneck trailer. Uh, you still have to worry about what's the gross weight of the trailer because goosenecks can go from uh, this one's a two horse or three horse load trailer to six or eight. Uh, so you need to make sure that your vehicle uh, can properly and safely carry what you need. Also on a gooseneck you still need to make sure everything we did on the uh, smaller trailer, make sure your tires are in good working order, make sure uh, your hinges work, make sure that your floor is, is good and safe for you and your horse. This trailer safety video has been brought to you by Certified Horsemanship Association.